what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel i know it has seemed like forever since we have pushed out any content forever forever but the truth is adam and i have been very busy with our full-time jobs we kind of changed roles so it's very hard to push out content hopefully that has settled down now so we can get back to pushing out some really good content and doing some gear review and some product reviews that you all may like now it is the middle of summer in august here uh, in north carolina so what better video to do right now than to do a gear review on two awesome coolers. Right here on my right is my personal Arctic cooler that I bought about two years ago. This thing has been fantastic. It has really lived up um, to the hype and what Arctic uh, provides. Take this thing camping to the gun range, whatever the case may be, this thing has been phenomenal. But the past you know, six months to a year, I kind of had a renewed focus on investing and buying products that are made or built in the United States of America to kind of really support the economy uh, as far as our beliefs and values of our family. So I ran across Bison Coolers, which is located out in Texas, and wanted to compare um, the two coolers. Now the difference is this Arctic is about $200, and this Bison for the 50 quart is roughly $350, which is very, very expensive to some people, and I get that. So I kind of wanted to you know, just go on a limb, buy this product, and see how it compares to Arctic. Now when you look at the two products, other than the handles, they're very, very similar as far as the side handles and the drain plugs on both sides. Differences, this is 52 quart and this is 50 quart. So I took these things to the store earlier. My son helped me put some ice in there. And what we did was we bought six bags of ice from the local store and put in each cooler. Uh, now you notice in here, almost goes up to the top, but I wanted to kind of simulate a little bit of room, having drinks, snacks, food, whatever the case may be. In this bison cooler if you notice here in the arctic core it is a little more appears to be a little more empty but the problem is is this is a 52 quart so it's going to have a little more size inside that where it wasn't able to fill up compared to the bison again all the insides and the outside features all very look similar as far as the handle and the dual drain plugs so what we're going to do is we're going to close these bad boys up put them partially in the shade and over the next four to five days, we're gonna kind of do a daily check on these. Right now we're in North Carolina in the middle of summer and the highs uh, all week is supposed to be mid nineties with the lows being in the seventies. All right guys, it's now Friday around lunchtime. We originally put ice in these coolers this past Sunday. The original weather forecast was showing about mid nineties all week. Since then it was around low nineties with a heat index around 95. So I, what I did was each day I opened these things up twice a day just to kind of give a more realistic of getting something out of the cooler or putting something in the cooler i have not added any ice to it if you remember in the beginning we put six bags of ice in each cooler so let's open them up and just kind of compare to see how much ice is in there to compare to how much water in there and did the bison uh, compared to the arctic did one do better than the other go ahead and open these things up start off with the bison as you see here Decent amount of ice after all this time. It's called Ghost Energy Drink. Uh, good amount of ice, a little bit of water, which is natural. Again, this is the 50 quart. Compare it to the Arctic. Still ice in the Arctic. Um, it appears the bison may have a little bit more ice compared to the amounts in there. Nice cold drink. Um, but not. First glance, not a huge difference between the two as far as ice retention. So when you're comparing these two coolers now, as far as the ice retention, the bison appears to have just a little bit more ice in it uh, compared to the Arctic. Again, the Arctic was 52 quarts. So there is a little more surface area that didn't have as much ice in there. So that could play a factor into it. Again, this was about $350 for a 50 quart. The Arctic was about $200. So you are paying $150 US dollars more so it really just comes down to you want to support uh, the United States economy, support American made jobs. That would be the biggest difference because, as far as the review of the two products, there's not a drastic difference. So, if money's a big issue and you just need a good cooler, uh, you're not going to go wrong with this Arctic cooler. One thing I would add is the Bison does have a five year warranty compared to the Arctic, which has a very limited warranty. So if you got another cooler in mind or a cooler that you think uh, may be better than Arctic or better than Bison as far as price point, shoot that in the comment section or send us a message and we'll do uh, try to do a review on those. Or if you have a product that you want us to test, 
send us that information as well and we'll try to incorporate it into the videos. As always, take care. Thanks for watching.